Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the Word Audio Devotional. Today's topic in the Mighty Works of God series is You Are Not Condemned and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of John chapter 8 and verse 10. Straightening up, Jesus said to her, Woman, where are they? Did no one condemn you? She answered, No one, Lord. And Jesus said, I do not condemn you either. Go from now on. Sin no more. In our anchor scripture, a woman had been caught in the act of committing adultery. Now in that era, adultery was punishable by death. This wasn't a case of speculation. She was caught in the act. Even the most talented lawyers could not get her out of the mess she had found herself in. Even before she was to be killed, they put her right in the center of the crowd. They ensured she was humiliated before they would actually stone her. I can imagine this woman's plight. Shame, pain, fear, humiliation, feeling unloved and unlovable. She must have felt judged. I can relate to this woman because I have felt some of these things at times, a moment of my life where people put my mistakes on pedestals. I have felt judged, humiliated, unloved, afraid, ashamed. But today is not about me. This woman felt all these and was still going to be killed. Until Jesus stepped in. The Bible says Jesus told her accusers something very simple. If you have not ever sinned, throw the first stone. One after the other, beginning from the oldest, who had lived long enough to commit all the sins in the book, they began to walk away. Our scripture says Jesus looked at this woman and said, Did no one condemn you? Neither do I. Wow. Jesus, the only one, who had the moral and spiritual right to condemn her. Jesus, the spotless, sinless Lamb of God. Jesus looked at a woman who was caught pants down in adultery and said, I don't condemn you. Your sin isn't too big. Seeing you in adultery didn't knock me off my horse. I see you, yet I don't condemn you. Go and sin no more. Today, Jesus is saying to someone listening, I know the world has judged you. I know you have been humiliated. I know you are even ashamed of some of the things you have done. But no one has the right to condemn you except me. And guess what? I do not condemn you. Do not let guilt push you farther away from me. Do not let sin continue to keep you away from my love. Come. Surrender to me today, Jesus is saying. I died for you. I died so you may live. So come. And live for me. Accept me as your Lord and Savior. Say this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for not condemning me. This morning, I repent of all my sins. Please forgive me. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from the dead. I confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I surrender my life to you today and declare that on the authority of the word of God, I am now born again. Take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon if you were blessed. Or if you prayed that prayer, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember. Wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.